हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वी आर बैक विद अ न्यू टॉपिक सीलिया एंड फ्लैजिला एंड दिस इज द टॉपिक रिलेटेड टू द सेल बायोलॉजी एंड दी सीलिया एंड फ्लैजिला आर सेंसरी स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड बेसिकली दे आर मेंट फॉर द मूवमेंट एंड द लोकोमोशन दे आर मेंट फॉर द मूवमेंट और द लोकोमोशन दिस सीलिया एंड फ्लैजिला आर सो मच इंपॉर्टेंट दैट वेन वी स्टडी अ फाइलम नॉन एज द प्रोटोजुआ तो इन प्रोटोजुआ फाइलम आउट ऑफ मेनी क्लासेस देर आर टू क्लासेस नॉन एज द सीलिएटा एंड द फ्लैजिलेटा नाउ द सीलिएटा क्लास ऑफ द फाइलम प्रोटोजुआ इज स्पेशली मेड फॉर द ऑर्गेनिजम्स हु आर बियरिंग द सीलिया तो सीलिया बियरिंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर इंक्लूडेड इन द क्लास सीलिएटा एंड ऑल द फ्लैजिला बियरिंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स are included in the class flagellata the cilia and flagella are present in plants also and they are present in animal also they can be found in prokaryotes also they may be found in eukaryotes also then if we see the structure of the cilia and the flagella so externally they are totally different but internally they are having the similar structure so for the classification of the cilia and the flagella we have differentiated few points which will show the difference between the cilia and the flagella but when we when we will be studying the internal structure of the cilia and the flagella we will be not studying the cilia and the flagella separately why because in them the internal structure is same but externally they are having lot of difference so here are few points which will show that cilia and flagella are externally different the first character you can see the size character cilia are small in size while the flagella are long in size you can see that i am making the flagella they are long in size they are approx 150 mu and cilia are small they are 5 to 10 mu if we see the structure of the paramecium you can see that small cilia are present so these are small in size and flagella are long in size you can see the difference in the size if we talk about the number then cilia are many in number they may be in hundreds they may be in thousands of numbers but flagella number is restricted they are 2 4 or maximum they can be 8 but generally they are 2 to 4 in number if we see the position of the cilia cilia are present all over the body you can see the diagram of the paramecium that all over the body what are present cilia are present but if we see the flagella say for in the chlamydomonas so the flagella are present at the ends in the type of the movement also they show difference cilia are showing sweeping or pendulum movement you know pendulum the watch pendulum will move like this type or like this type means what i want to say that they are having sweeping movement or the pendulum movement if if all the cilia are moving this side all the moving this side or they are moving like this side so they will be moving like this way or they will be moving like this way but if we see the movement in the case of the flagella to both the flagella say for in chlamydomonas there are two flagella to both these flagella are not having the coordinated movement they are having independent movement this flagella is having a different movement this flagella is having a different movement so we can say that movement is independent or undulatory and the chief function of the cilia and the flagella the chief function is same they help in movement the chief function is helping in movement so these are the external differences between the cilia and the flagella now if we talk about the structure of the flagella so particularly the flagella is having a little bit complex organization the, this flagella is actually based of four parts the shaft or the ciliary part which is actually consisting of the microtubules 
within couple of minutes you will be able to see that what are microtubules and how they are important for the movement so this shaft or the ciliary part of the flagella is consisting of the microtubules which are chiefly concerned with the movement the next part is the basal plate the third part is the basal body which is also called as blepharoplast and the last part is the rootlet so these are the four parts flagella is composed of four parts the shaft of the ciliary part basal plate basal body and the rootlet the topmost portion is called as the ciliary part the basal part the the lowest part of the flagella is called as the rootlet so these are the parts of the flagella just now i had said that if we talk about the internal organization of the cilia and the flagella so internally they are having same structure so we will be studying a common structure for cilia and flagella first of all you must know that cilia and flagella are bounded by a unit membrane first point second point is that cilia and flagella are meant for movement so the movement is done with the help of the microtubules the matrix of the cilia and the flagella is composed of microtubules which can also be called it as fibrils the most important part of the cilia and the flagella and these microtubules are present in the shaft or the ciliary part this microtubules now in the case of eukaryotes particularly in the eukaryotes the arrangement of microtubules arrangement of microtubules is 9 plus 2 arrangement now what is this 9 plus 2 arrangement 9 plus 2 arrangement means 9 microtubules are present at periphery it will be just now visible when i will be drawing the diagram so these 9 microtubules will be visible and they are present at the periphery 9 microtubules are present at the periphery and two microtubules are present at center so this arrangement in the eukaryotes is called as 9 plus 2 arrangement of the microtubules nine microtubules are present at the periphery and two microtubules are present at the center which are chiefly concerned with movement now the question arises that these microtubules are made of which substance and how they are arranged in cilia and the flagella so 9 plus 2 arrangement is like this type see here the nine microtubules which are present on the periphery they are present in doublet fashion again i am repeating nine microtubules which are present at the periphery are present in doublet fashion now the question arises that what is doublet fashion doublet fashion means each microtubule each microtubule is made of two sub fibrils that is sub fibril a and the second one is sub fibril b right nine microtubules are present at periphery in doublet fashion what is doublet fashion each microtubule is made up of two subfibrils subfibril a and subfibril b and these peripheral microtubules these nine peripheral microtubules are very very important they are made up of a protein known as tubulin protein from here questions are asked that is the nine peripheral microtubules are made up of which protein so they are made up of tubulin protein now what about these two microfibrils these two microfibrils 
तो टू माइक्रोफाइब्रिल्स आर प्रेजेंट एट द सेंटर एंड दे आर नॉट प्रेजेंट इन डबलेट फैशन दे आर प्रेजेंट इन सिंगलेट फैशन मीन्स द माइक्रोट्यूबल इज मेड ऑफ सिंगल फाइब्रिल माइक्रोट्यूबल इज मेड ऑफ सिंगल फाइब्रिल एंड दीज टू माइक्रोफाइब्रिल्स which are present at the center which are present at the center are made up of dynein protein very important again the central fibrils are made up of dynein protein so this arrangement is called as 9 plus 2 arrangement i am drawing the diagram here you can see that how the nine microtubules are present at the periphery i am drawing the nine microtubules 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 9 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 now don't count it as 18 these are 9 only why because this is one microtubule this is one microtubule but it is composed of sub fibril a and this is sub fibril b got it these this is a single microtubule means what each microtubule is made up of two sub fibril sub fibril a and sub fibril b say for this is a this is b a b a b and so on like this side got it like this side these are the nine microtubules which are present at the periphery but there are two microtubules which are present at the center but here this is one microtubule but it is found in singlet uh, singlet fashion they are not found in the doublet fashion matlab it is only having only only it is having one fibril on so this is what 9 plus 2 arrangement found in the eukaryotes these are made up of dynein protein these are made up of the tubulin protein and like this type of the spokes are present here like this type which are helpful in the movement this is the 9 plus 2 arrangement of the eukaryotes but in the case but in the case of the prokaryotes the 9 plus 2 arrangement is not present just now i have said you that 9 plus 2 arrangement is found in eukaryotes but what about the prokaryotes because in prokaryotes also cilia and flagella are present so in prokaryotes instead of the 0 plus 1 arrangement is present instead of 9 plus 2 arrangement they are having 0 plus 1 arrangement and the one microtubule is made up of flagellin protein here the microtubules were made up of tubulin protein and the dynein protein but here in the case of prokaryotes the arrangement instead of the 9 plus 2 the arrangement is 0 plus 1 arrangement and flagellin protein is making the microtubule it also proves that they are found in plants they are found in animals they are found in prokaryotes they are found in eukaryotes and the chief function of the cilia and the flagella is that they are specially meant for the movement they are specially meant for movement 9 plus 2 arrangement is present in eukaryotes 0 plus 1 arrangement of the microtubule is present in the prokaryotes so students this was a brief description of cilia and flagella which are internally having the same organization but externally they are having different organization if you have liked this video subscribe my channel we will be back with few more videos few more new topics share this video like this video thanks a lot we will be back soon thank you